one is a cool, cool Wednesday. Oh, Monday. Why am I so used to Wednesday? Because maybe Wednesday is my favorite day. But I also love Mondays because Mondays are MCM. I am a man. I'm proud to be one. This is why it's faithful. And this is why in the morning. And today is MCM Man Crush Monday. So a few uh, minutes ago you were here with the drum discussing uh, careers and then there was youth and politics but I was more interested in career and it's this that informs what we are going to do next and that is uh, choices parents choosing careers and spouses and maybe even friends for their children they say that they love them and in fact our parents love us there is nobody on earth that wants good for you more than your parents but it is good. Is it good when they want to choose everything for you so that you just remain to follow what they do? From childhood, and I'm talking about after the age of 18, where you also have your right conscience or right to choose, they continue choosing for you. Is it good or bad? It's there in our social media platform. So start commenting and go on. We'll read them at the end of this all. My name is Ankara Kayesu, and I am not alone in this house. I carefully choose this panel, you will understand when we shall have done introduction. We have teacher charity and we have job or oh, cool. How are you guys? We are fine. We are going to start with you. You're going to mm -hmm. tell us everything about you. know you were not new here, but it's been a while since you came here. So tell us everything, everything that you need, you think we need to know about you. That, that I think the world should know about me. Yes. Okay, I'm um, teacher charity. Yes commonly known as a teenager mm -hmm. I'm a teacher, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, and uh, by passion, I'm a journalist. <laughs> Professionally, <laughs> I'm a teacher. <laughs> Passionately, I'm a journalist. Actually, I love writing. What is your dad, the, the career of your dad? My father is a teacher, my mother is a teacher, my elder sister is a teacher, my husband is a teacher. I told you there's a reason why I chose these people. <laughs> I told you there's a reason, so you will, mm -hmm. you'll get to know this after this. Your yeah. social media platforms? At Indianer Sikwadi. Just that? Just that. In Twitter? That. In Just that. LinkedIn, everywhere? WhatsApp, that. Uh, Book that. Yes. <laughs> we missed you. It's Thank been you. a while. It's been a while. Let's get to the gentleman of the day. You know, today is MCM, like Man Crush Monday. So you are the man of the moment. <laughs> and it's your first time here. So Job, tell us. Tell us what you think we need to know about you. Okay. I'm Job Okul by name. Technically, I'm not a journalist, but see. What mm. are you? I'm a father. <laughs> <laughs> there. I I'm don't know why I doubt this, but just go on. It's okay. I'm a father. <laughs> a son to a pastor. PK. Who's happened to be very controlling man, but he's a late. And also, I did communication and tourism. Communication and tourism? Yes. You're so close to journalism. Eh? Yeah, I'm in the field. You are in this field, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. So, guys, welcome here. Thank so, you. I want to tell you why I told you I chose carefully. You know, I chose son of teachers, a daughter to teachers, like both parents of Atindi are teachers. And Job is son of pastor, and <laughs> SDA pastor, and not even the contemporary ones, the classical SDA pastors, where I, pastors were very few. You could get one in Nairobi and another one in Machakos. So, those guys used to be very strict, very I don't know any person who is stricter than a teacher mm -hmm. and a pastor, especially on their children. Mm -hmm. So I know they were controlled by their fathers or mothers and all that. And that's why we want to get a first-hand experience on this. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you grew up, especially after, after you were um, form four. Uh, to start with, uh, let me say that I have the best dad in the whole world. Mm -hmm, my nice. father is the best. I hope, she, I hope he's watching. He's watching, by the way. He's <laughs> nice. watching. He, he just retired. He's at home. Uh -huh. I know he's watching me, wherever uh -huh. he is. I have the best father, and he has walked with me through all phases of my life to, to date. Uh, so, after school, after Form 4, on matters, choices, my father has been there making for me choices. But at that point, I thought I was able to make my own um, choices. choices. 
Some went on well, others were crushed. And here we are, you see parents are parents. Even if you mess, you'll come back. They'll still welcome you. I like see, after form four, I never wanted to be a teacher. Oh. I looked at myself and I, 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 I just didn't see any teaching thing in me. I only came to realize that I'm a good teacher after, after training, after graduating, after teaching for two years. Yeah. Actually, when we went for this, uh, we call it Tusome. Yes. When we went for the Tusome training, mm. our coach, our cluster coach, was the one who identified that the teaching passion in me. I didn't even know that I could the teach. The teaching skill and In talent. me, in because me. Because passion is not there. Passion is not there. It was not there. He saw it. It's <laughs> me It's me who didn't see it. But he saw that passion in me. And from there, I just got strength. I, 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 I felt like I'm, I'm really a teacher. And I did well. To and the by the time I was living here, I was heading a school at Kasarani. I you know, remember? I know, yeah. I know. What did you want to do? I wanted to be a journalist. But my father uh, kept on saying that he can only pay for two courses for his children. Uh, medical and, and education. Only. <laughs> our, my, my, our first one is a teacher. I'm also a teacher. And you see, when you are sponsored, you have to be loyal. I cannot go around pushing my father that I don't want this, I don't want this. I became a teacher, but I'm, 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 I'll soon deviate from it. Okay. Yeah. Let's get to Job, mm -hmm. the son of a pastor. By the way, Job, there is a head up there. <laughs> She's called Stella Omwenga. You will see her after the show. She will come to greet you. Stella, after this, come and greet the son of a pastor. <laughs> Tell us your experience, Job, on, not on Job, but on uh, education, <laughs> on education, on career choices, and on that one. By the way, we'll come back to choices of spouses and all that, because I know that is another gray area. So Job, tell us about your education and career choices and that in regarding to Pastor Okul. Okay, for a start, I think I had the best dad. Mm -hmm. He's someone who could work on you in the morning for mistakes. He, he thinks he's going to do when he's away. What do you mean work on you? He could can you thoroughly in the morning <laughs> first. <laughs> you I very good. <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. But fine, he was a loving father, he could lose out of love. And then when it came to post, post form four, we sat down with a talk. Technically, according to him, he wanted me to be a lawyer. And uh, it's something I'm still pursuing in life later on. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, I had a lot of interest in writing and speaking. By birth, I'm a sanguine. So I talk a lot mm. and I write a lot. Mm. Yeah. So when I came to my career choice, because whatever I wanted me to do, you couldn't, you didn't give me that opportunity to choose whatever I wanted to do. When I came to the university, now I got an option to get what I wanted to, to do. Because I love traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. Other than traveling, I also write a lot, yes. interact with people a lot. Mm -hmm. So to go to cause that favor, my nature. Yes. Yeah. With him, he never had any problem. What he kept on insisting until the point of his death was, do what you need to do. After that, ensure, at least in life, fulfill my wish of, of being a lawyer of being a lawyer so are you saying that both of you defied your parents because oh you you you, you didn't have option because of fee option, yeah. if you had option of maybe you had some source of fee you could I, do I, journalism and exactly, live teaching exactly. but job defied job i never defied. He, he wanted you to be a lawyer he, you he suggested that you become a lawyer uh, <laughs> but we talked i told him dad Fine, that video can work. Yes. But not now. Oh. And he accepted. Oh, he accepted. So at least he was uh, flexible. He was very flexible when it comes to matters of education. Yes. But when it comes to those stories. Mm -mm. At what point did he die? Dad, when you had finished your university or oh, something? Oh, well, I was in my first year. Oh, sorry. Yeah. But he saw you like when you started, you yeah, when he started learning you. about your career. I remember when I was so, at UN, we came with him. Yes. He came and on my first day, in, in, in my first day in campus, walked you through all those steps. And all those steps. But then it was very analog. Analog. So you had to queue. Yes. <laughs> you finish one queue, you go you to, go to the next queue. queue. You jump to the library, another queue. <laughs> go to Sua, see and Rufio authority up there, another queue. And I can imagine you from home, Ringagakelo. You cannot jump to you. You are very loyal to the And you are the pastor. And my case was quite different, Kayesu. Yes, yes. 
You see, the day, actually, I, I just got converted into AC. I was a Catholic. Actually, I was from the convent. I wanted to be a nun. What? So today, maybe you could have not known me. Yes. I, was, I was in the convent. I got converted into SDA. And then our church pastor, Pastor Gregor, mm. I think is the one who talked to my mother that let this lady go to Kamagamba Adventist College. Mm. And by the way, that is, Kamagamba Adventist College changed my life. How? All around. Actually, I was... That's I where was, you went to learn... If why you need to change morals, religion. everything actually it shaped my life whole all corners i mean emotionally so college played a big part a in your a life ve now. a very big part actually i don't even regret not joining university i could have been dead by now dead dead uh, so i i went to college alone nobody took me unlike a job you see job was taken by the father yes i went alone actually from our home to college was 20 shillings oh, from so rongo to kamagamo and i even cried because I, you see i wanted to go to shanzu teachers college oh a bigger, a, a a bigger college. Yeah, yeah and and my father was there I, he actually said that you see you were given all the all the time to read to study in school for the four years those who studied and scored A are not crying now. <laughs> Look they're, they're, at this. Actually, they're, they're looking for the colleges which they're supposed to join uh, on the internet. And here you are. You are, you are very busy crying and you failed. You see, I just... Uh, <laughs> and, 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 what are you calling a failure? According to him, calling? I failed. Actually, I'm the only person in our family who did not join university. Oh, who didn't went direct? Who didn't go direct? I'm the only one. So according uh, to him, I failed. But you see, God has a way of doing things. I think God just wanted me to go there so that I get shaped. You. And then I told you by next, this month I'll be there. Because I know you, Charity. Yeah. You are a brainy, super brainy girl. You've not told us about your new book. But I know you will do oh. it maybe, maybe at the end of the show. I have uh, You to, are I have a very to. super brainy girl. So on this job, on the career choices, I was going through I parents choose careers for their children and one of the reasons was that they feel their children are extension of themselves so what he didn't achieve in life he once achieved through you i've talked to several parents who told me who i was advising to go back to school they are still tender ages but they are parents but and they are saying me i'm concentrating on my children whatever i've not achieved my children they will achieve children. for me yeah, they will get to where i didn't go like they want better life for their children what do you feel about this as uh, like uh, your background and everything parents thinking that children are the extension so they should choose for them what to do can i say in life i want to give a, a typical example of my mom mm. My level of education as, as, as per now is yes. higher than us. Yes. But she always says this. That the moment you've taken a child past form four, as a parent, you read a case certificate because you know everything. Mm. The moment they go to the university level, you have a degree. As much as you never went to school, but experience wise and laugh, then the knowledge gap that you <coughs> in your head has increased that much fold. Mm. There's one. Two, if that mother is parents tend to believe that what they are one for the children is the best. Yes. In a way, it is true. Mm. In a way, it mm. is true. Mm. Because they see a father than we do. But in another option, it's good to give a child to choose what they want to, to, do. to be. Mm. And uh, as a child grows up, you just know from the level from age two, three, four, the possible career this, this, this baby can, can have. Like our sister Tindy talks a lot. Yes. You know. She's she's like you. No, she's not like <laughs> me. Both, both of you are sanguines. No, <laughs> she's super sanguine. So, oh, she's more sanguine than you. Yeah, she she's sanguine. If that's an English word. <laughs> now, <laughs> at the end of the day, monitor your child, then see what they can mm. become in life. Mm. Don't force it on them. Mm. Yeah. You you are parent. Uh, was more liberal like he wanted you to be something but he decided you decided to be another thing and he supported you in that but just wanted you to maybe do that in future you know what no that you wanted me to do that in future i'm one person in our family who never loses an argument oh i never lose an argument i'm ever right even if i'm wrong <laughs> you must win i must win even if i i know i'm wrong 
is that dangerous? You'll tell us after this if that will be dangerous maybe for his marriage it's and all it's that. It's but it's go on it's for it's now. It's so dangerous. It's so dangerous in this case. She's the one, she's so the dad one dad who has experience. She's the one who will tell my us. My dad knows that maybe that is a marriage. But my dad knows <laughs> knew that <laughs> when there's a point to be argued, I have to. You don't want to lose this argument also. <laughs> <laughs> so, but go on. You always tell me, you always told me job. You're very, good, you're very good at diverting facts. It's true, this is a path. I oh. take a different a different road okay. towards the same direction. Oh, so he studied you. So he studied me a lot. Uh. When I was in Sunday 7, he told me, young man, you have to be a lawyer. I told him, Dad, I'm working on that. Yes. When I went to high school, but then in my in my high school report for, report form, let me call it that. The only subject my dad could look into were the languages, uh -huh. history. Oh, because he was very sure you. He was very sure what he wanted to be in life. Yes, he would never bother about any other subject uh, most of the times. Uh, and he could give me a challenge: get me this grade in this subject, I give you this. Uh -huh. And the challenges were very nice. You, you always promised food. Not food, mo not money. <laughs> it's, it's like that is what no we like most. No wonder. No. And is she saying no wonder? That's a uh, subject for another time. And that is history now. The no wonder part is history. <laughs> but so with all these promises. Something worked in my favor. The twin came to choose what I wanted to do. I told him, Dad, find this works with this course. Mm. But this always works with this, with this, this course. course yes. So let me do this. We must do this. Because mm. time is still there for us. And by the way, talking and communication also go a long way. They are also friends. So being a lawyer, maybe you'll achieve it in life. You, you are still very young. Uh, it's just a you, matter of time. A, ma a matter of I'm old time. enough. Charity, mm. don't you think talking too much and uh, winning arguments always is dangerous for it a marriage? It is very dangerous, but uh, it, is, it, it is actually, he has even confessed that he knows very well that he is wrong, but yeah. he insists that he is right. <laughs> that is very dangerous. And, most, uh, and, and, and to marriage, yeah. I, I, I heard him saying that is hers. Yeah. Okay. It, might, it, it could be mine. But even in yours, I'm very sure this is a very serious factor that has to affect your marriage. You cannot be right always. It's always important to accept when you are wrong. Uh, actually, just consent. Just say, I'm wrong here, yeah, I'm sorry. And, uh, and and then you see how to go about yeah, it. You cannot just insist on. to be right. He wants always. to rebut, but I won't allow him because he don't want to lose that. This, <laughs> argument. this is another argument he does not want to lose. <laughs> we may end up arguing <laughs> that way. I know him. <laughs> There's something about our parents that I want us to help here. Mm -hmm. That they look on what is trending on the market and think this is what my child could do. But mm -hmm. I think that is dangerous. You know, there's a time, CDs now, you remember, not CD of what youth call CD, but compact disc mm -hmm. where they record movies and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, those, there are people who went to school to make that. But you know that one is getting out of market now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it was trending, maybe in the year 2020, 2007, CD was the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, compact disc and DVDs were the thing. So a parent could advise a child then, back then, to study maybe making that. Or maybe a typewriter, which is no longer there. I don't know whether any of you saw a typewriter. You lay a tap, 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 mm. tap, tap. So one in high school. Which is mm. Mm. Yeah, in high school. It's obsolete, like they went obsolete. Mm. But parents look on what is trending, what is um, like giving a lot of people a job and advise their children to do that. When maybe in 10, 20 years' time, that would to be... Actually, actually, that is not even a problem in the house or in the country. Let's say it, it is just a global thing. Yes. Most of us think that uh, m most of us want to go to school to get employment. Yes. And this is something that when you when when you when you tell your parent that, uh, anyway, when you try to reason away from it, you become like you, you uh, an outcast. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it is important uh, that we know that we don't go to school to get employed. Mm. Like I'm a teacher. Mm. Out of what. I was trained on. Today I'm a writer. I mm, write. Mm. And I'm so much comfortable mm, in writing. it, in writing. Mm. So let us just teach our children that people don't go to school to get employment. Mm. You also go to school <laughs> to create employment. Mm -hmm. You go to school to, to grow mentally. Mm. Like I always tell my class, two pupils, that the first person to finish his or her work, you make a line. If you do it last, you make a line after 
After that that, person. And that yes. is patience. Yes. You see, when you go to a bank, you'll get a queue. Mm -hmm. You even go to the, to, to the public toilets, mm -hmm. you'll get a queue. You see, we go to school to grow socially, emotionally. There are so many things that we acquire in school that we cannot just focus on employment. But it is also right. You see, people are frustrated. Maybe your parents, you, you look at your background, whatever you went through, and your parents really want you to change their life. Mm -hmm. So when you go and uh, you, when, when, when you go to maybe to the to college right now to study whatever you are talking about, making CDs, mm -hmm. what will it help you with? Nothing. It is also important to get ideas of people around you, I influence. But the decision making remains with, with, with the you. Child, you uh, believe in yourself even when nobody believes in you. I want your it is important. In I think. I think. She's a teacher. Yes. She went to school. Yes. Went to Kamagambo. Did the 20 shillings as a bus fare. Mm -hmm. Finished. I remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Came to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Secured a job. Mm -hmm. By virtue of her good leadership skills that she learned in school, she became an A teacher to an institution. Mm -hmm. What was that? A uh, Nairobi institution. Nairobi institution. What yes. was that? Yeah. She went to school to get a job. Mm -hmm. Teaching somebody two pupils how to panga line and how to be patient mm -hmm. is part of whatever she got in school. Why is she applying it? In a place of work. Mm-hmm. So let's this notion of that don't go to school not to get a job. Everybody is studying to get jobs because there's no way you'll be told this job is for those who never went to school to study this. It mm. never happens. Mm. I think most of us are in school, other than getting skills, you are sure of something at the end of the time, and maybe you hope mm. after finishing this, mm. there's some job somewhere. Mm. And that's why our parents struggle to take us through the education. Because maybe your your parents are not that much rich. They're not wealthy enough. Mm. But they're struggling. You see, there's a struggle in this family. Mm. And you hope that maybe one day I'll change their what? The, the, their the life. struggle. And then after life. struggling with you for more than four years, all, all those years in through school, mm. you come back after graduating, then you tell your dad, Dad, still as you part a cousin, you change my change my share too. Mm. Mm. I can use my skills somewhere else. Where? <laughs> <laughs> that is just an underscore of what I would that, say. That, that parent will it's be like greatly he has, he has, disappointed. He has amplified what you yeah, were saying. Yeah, that is what I was in, saying. In a yeah. different in, in angle. A, in a different angle. Actually, actually we, let, let's say, I, like I was saying, I did not train to uh, as a teacher to be a teacher for the rest of my life. Mm. There are skills I learned there that I can apply somewhere else. When that place, actually, if, if that is where my passion lies, and I use skills that I got from the other side, there's nothing wrong. Mm. We appreciate. And if one day I get employed as a teacher, there's no problem. I can still do two or three or four things. Ogoda, oh, there's, uh, when she's asked today, what did you study in school? What's your profession? Yeah, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher, full yes, stop. Yes. The thought of what other skills do you know or do you have comes <laughs> later. The basic thing is I'm they a teacher. They don't even come, they show. I'm a teacher. <laughs> they show. I'm a teacher. What do you do? Or, you. or maybe maybe someone, so someone sees you somewhere. Our first employment was by the virtue of her being what? Of, of a training teacher. as a teacher. Not training employment, teacher. but training. I must bring this to an end because I know you. <laughs> I know the two of you. If I if I continue like this, just as the CSL says, as we continue like this, <laughs> we continue no marry. <laughs> I want to go up no marry with you. There's one thing about career. The last thing about career, Pastor Abuya of University of Nairobi told mm. us that he told his parents that he must go to the University of Nairobi, whether he's going to learn funeral management and catering, <laughs> whether he's going to learn what, he's ins insisted that he must go to that particular university. And this is also a factor. You know, our, the, there was a, 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 some classical mentality that there are institutions that are better than another. So parents choose career according to where are you going? Like you mm. didn't want to go to Kamagambo, you wanted to go to Shanzu. Is it right for one to be focused on an institution now? We start with you. I think there's nothing wrong when you focus on uh, an institution. At the same time, there's nothing wrong going to anywhere. Like you cannot, uh, you cannot just insist that I have to go to Nairobi to the the, the University, University of Nairobi. Nairobi. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If 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 even, even, <laughs> even when you can acquire the same course at Rongo University, mm. you see you love you you love cut cost. You love because uh, let's say when when I when, if I decide to join Rongo University, I'll even mm. commu commuting from home. I'll be commuting from yes, home. Yes. I'll have cut so many things. But if your parents are in a position to support you, you don't have any f 
for a, 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 any financial problem. Mm. There's no problem. You can mm. just go to the college to, of your choice. Whatever, wherever you want. Yeah, wherever you want. And you pursue what Job, you want. Did you insist to be at the University of Nigeria? No. The government gave me the university so that I was so smart, my brain could only be managed. <laughs> <laughs> at the best university. At the best university. Yeah. Okay. But, <laughs> that aside, that aside, depending on the parents at their level of te technical, traditional parents, in the age of my father and his elder brothers going back there, there was an university in Kenya that was known, and that was very famous. Yes. University of so yeah, that believe that any other university is not a university except University of Nairobi. Mm. They have a belief that if it is GTC, it should be a Goji, Shanzu, Kaimosi. Yes. Mm? Mm. Eregi. Mm. Those former, former big, big mm. names. Mm. You should mention Migori. Also. Migori may be <laughs> somewhere <laughs> there in between. <laughs> Yeah. And Kamagamo was the only, the only private college by then, from by then. 1912. Oh. Yeah, 1912. So you also special with that? Very special that the college is not there. <laughs> so that is what they, be, they used to believe. And so my dad got, getting an admission at the University of Nairobi, he never opposed. Yes. And the letter came, he supported it. Yes. Because he believed that was the best word mm, institution. The best that was the best boy. Institution. Having the best brain. Mm. But at the end of the day, I can think today, Let's not focus on where they study. Yes. Let's focus on what they study mm -hmm. and what is being delivered. Are you sure where it doesn't matter at all? It can does. It, can it, can it, market? it does in a percent, a very minute percentage. Mm -hmm. But that is not a matter of where, it's a matter of what and how. Okay, crowning this, will you choose, on you quickly, will you choose, help choose career for your child? Technically, I will guide. Oh, you will guide. But yeah. you will not force. If not he force. says the otherwise, you will let him or her go that way. Yeah, it's a direction. What of you, teacher? That's what I'll do. I'll just guide her. I'll yeah. guide them. For and them, then, because yeah, it's more mean. than one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can see I got this already in education. <laughs> <laughs> it's from mom. Okay, <laughs> let's go to this choosing spouse thing. And I want to mm -hmm. give you a short statistics that uh, there's something called arranged marriage. Arranged marriage is where a parent arranges, and not forcing, a, arranges a marriage for a son or a daughter. Like um, parents of this side and parents of that side get together and say, let's our sons and daughters get married. Uh, or my son, I think, should get married to your daughter and all that. My parents were married that way. And their base was on a religion called Legio Maria. I was <laughs> born in that way. So I'm a, I'm a Legion Maria person, a Legion Maria person for this denomination to continue in our lineage. Let you your, let your, your <laughs> let your daughter marry your, my son <laughs> and all that. So that is arranged marriage. You know, it works that I was very surprised that marriages globally, 55%, I hoping 55% are arranged marriages. Arranged. Like it's only forty-five percent of marriages that people meet and and marry without parents knowing. Arranged marriage is different from forced marriage. Forced marriage is where you cannot say no. And by the way, ninety percent of marriages in India, ninety, are arranged marriages. While 80% 80, 80 of marriages in Afghanistan are forced marriages. Now what is interesting is that in India, where 90% of marriages are arranged, there's only 1.1% of divorce. 1.1% of divorce. And uh, globally, the global uh, divorce rate is 8.6% uh, and all that. Um, what shocked me is also that Kenya currently, the divorce rate in Kenya currently is 70%. Imagine helping 70 people, 70% of marriages breaking in the name of divorce, and uh, it was 40%. And Kenya is the freest, one of the freest from the arranged marriage thing. It's very free compared to India and all that. So I want you guys to discuss this. Do you think from this view that it is good for parents to choose spouses for their kids. We start ladies first. We start it with is the very dangerous for parents to choose. You reject this even after these statistics? I still reject it. <laughs> I, I strongly reject it. It is very dangerous. And at the same time, I can consent. To give us a, number, a percentage. 
five, in a scale five. of one plus one to five, one to ten. One to ten. Uh, Let me give it three. <laughs> three. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Maybe. there's nothing wrong with the arranged marriage. You see, our parents see what we may not be able to see. Yes. But it is also important for our parents to give us. That, a breathing space. A breathing space. That, that full <laughs> atmosphere to decide on what you want to do. Yes. Whether you want to settle with them or not. There's nothing wrong. They can just bring their, their proposals. There's yes. nothing wrong. Mm. You'll go through them and say, I cannot settle with this one. Uh, I can, and I can settle with this one. Uh, there's, uh, uh, you, actually, you, 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 you should be given time mm. to make a, a, a very serious personal decision on it. Yes. And whether it is arranged or not, mm. Those people who arrange for you will not come and stay with you. Yes, with, 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 with this with, person. With the so-called spouse. Uh, you get out and the house remains with the two with of the you. With the two of you. So when it comes to separation or divorce that you're talking about, actually we lose, we don't separate. We take matrimonial leave. <laughs> which is okay. When there's so much heat in, 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 in marriage. Like a real world, right? when, 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 when your marriage is hot, there's nothing wrong in taking a break. You go relax. You come back. If you can't come back, you see how to go go about it. You see, people uh, uh, the, uh, pe things are enhancing. Uh, people are killing each other in marriages. Yes, yes. People actually, you 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 even find someone killing the spouse plus the children. Mm. So, as a parent, will you accept a dead child or a divorced child? A divorced man. We must accept, and I don't know why the church is so quiet about it. The church. The You're church blaming the church also. Very, for very quiet on. Uh, you, you see, according to the church, they're actually for for the church to allow you to to divorce. It may even take them forever. Uh. They'll be like, just be there. Uh. You see, we are we are praying for you. Yes. Things will change. Ada sisi to na vumilia tu. Akuna na lipazuri. Just be there. And that is the same thing that parents saying. Mm. When, when 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 you find yourself there. You talk to them, you tell them that I don't see this marriage working. I know I could have maybe made a mistake somewhere choosing this guy. But you see, I, I'm, I'm going to die in it. Yes. And they're like, just be there. I, I'm, I'm also struggling here with your father. <laughs> <laughs> just be there. Your father inherited somebody <laughs> just the other day. Your father inherited <laughs> somebody <laughs> the other day. I'm aware of it. And you see, I'm not going anywhere. Or should I also go to your grandmother? Where will you go to now if you come? And you see, it is, it, it, it is just uh, logic. Actually, I thank my father. Yes. And uh, just so you to say, I had issues with my marriage. Mm. I, I'm the one who took that matrimonial leave. Yes. Eh? Uh -huh. And I think, uh, I'm, I'm going back. The after time is almost. <laughs> it's almost over. I'm going No, back. that is a special announcement. <laughs> a very special announcement. Yes, and that I, you are I, I, I had even told those who are calling me at night to stop calling me at night. I'm very busy. <laughs> so anyway. it, uh, so let, let, let parents always give us time. Let, let them hear our opinion mm. and, and, and reason with us logically. These things fail. Yes. W every, anything can fail. And if your marriage fails, does not mean that... You, you are the problem, or is the problem, or maybe both of you are, are problems. problems. Let them accept. Give you time to breathe and say, uh, and maybe both of you will get time to see the importance of that marriage when you are away. You say that, eh, kumbe yu muto amekua, muhimu hapa. And you say that now. Or even maybe the kids are involved. Today the kids want the father, tomorrow they want you. Uh, and then I say, instead of tossing kids left, right, and uh, center, let me just go and be there. Mm. You get your own reasons for going, not somebody forcing you to be there. Yes. That is what I'm trying to say. Atindi has poured out her heart. Pastor's, you know, pastor's I've, kid. I've, I've, I've left her to do so because she's talking from personal experience. Now talk as a PK. <laughs> what do you think about this? And let him not, <laughs> let him not bring verses here for me. I know him. I think we are not seeing a Bible study forum. Mm -hmm. So I won't quote any Bible verse, <laughs> but I can. Yeah, I know you can. <laughs> now, there's an element of choosing. You give us statistics arranged and choosing. I want to let us go to the arranged part. There are some marriages that are arranged without knowing that you have been snared. There's a snare, that, there's, a, there's a tab that has been set for you. Mm -hmm. Your mom and the mom, your mom, or a mom to the woman and a mom to the man are friends. And so they always they insist on a get together. The notion is to bring you guys together without you people knowing. So I have to find that at the end of the day, you are together. And then now when you reflect, well, okay, this was, this was what was uh, 
happening mm. from a very young age. Mm. Mm. So there's that spotting. Mm. Let me call it that. Mm. They spot and keep and they nurture yes. and they maintain. Mm. So every day, social Sunday, on a Sunday you meet together, you go out to take lunch together. As this family, this family are my friends, you go to sleep over, they come to your place. So that you get acquainted and you get used to each other. Mm -hmm. So with time, you find that by default, you'll you be attracted. Yes. Because Sunday has been now. So even our parents are very smart. Nowadays they don't arrange for you direct. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. They won't. They show you they show, directly. They show you indirectly. Mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, you fall into the trap. Mm. And then you'll see that they fall into the trap. Is maybe if someone comes to see you, there's a problem. And if she comes to see you, mm -hmm. mm. So it's like she's more welcome than either you know, the person. So just know that maybe this is a trap I'm getting into. So parents do that a lot nowadays. Chama, mara, mtu wa church, mtu wa kanisa, uu ni workmate, prayer partner, prayer partner fellowship, uu ni fellowship, prayer fa, uu ni family friend. Yes. Munaenda kwa kwa vitu very trivial. Mm -hmm. Like una birthday ya mtu wa tu one year old, mm. na nipiba za family wote munaenda. <laughs> it's something very trivial. Mm. You wonder why? You wonder why you go to amatanga ya shosha shosha mtu. Kumbe something is cooking. Kumbe there's something cooking. being done for you without your and knowledge. And then they can leave you alone, the two of you. And they leave you in, alone. Intentionally. And then, and then, kuna ile patia, kuna ile patia, job, sindikiza nani? It's late. Eh, sindikiza nani? It's late. So, no matter how long you take outside there, you won't be asked, why did you take long? No. Because they knew my son is doing something. Mm -hmm. And they confirm the other side. Mr. Noka, you figure Sangapi. Oh, I'll tell you, you don't go Paul. You didn't tell me. Kumba, you talk at six. I can figure out ten. And your mom covers for you. Yeah. With the reason that she's preparing a daughter in. in yeah. your... So there's that, there's that form of arrangement. Yes. Do you, you support that? You think that is good? What I'm saying is, it's good if the boy, the man, and the and the woman. Let me not talk about a girl now. The man and the woman, they see like they can fit. Each other. Consent. Mm. They, are, they consent. This is the best choice for me. Yes. Mm. Because as, as much as it's being floated in your eye daily, you have a choice to do what? To make. Mm. But now coming back to the arranged party, like, ni me wana msi anaflani wa shosho ya anko yangu ya kule kuingine, mm. ametosha kuolewa. Mm. Nina nika kulete. Onja kunile pache ujaluoni. Mm. Where they, they go bring a woman for you. Yes. Eh. Mm. Atu mjui, amjai yonane yeah. nwea. Mm. They bring for you and you. And that is not even worse. There is a, I was reading about India that on arranged marriages, you meet your better half 15 minutes to the marriage ceremony. <laughs> to the marriage ceremony. <laughs> yes, 15 minutes. And then, and then the worst part is, and then the worst part, whatever you <laughs> That's when you see her or him for the first time in your life. Whatever, whatever you're talking about is very fine. <laughs> you, can, you can meet your mistake, <laughs> fail to embrace your mistake. And then blame it to us. <laughs> if your mistake disappoints you. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a lie. But no, I found out. I was wondering one day, I was asking my mom, that was it that my grandmother, yes. because, because before she passed on, yes. we used to study a lot with my grandmother. Okay. And she told me this uh, that her and my grandfather, they never knew each other. Yes, that is arranged marriage. That was not even arranged. That is what? In com in prom two. <laughs> But it was not of come. It is a typical come we stay. We need to anani so and so. We don't know what we do. We don't know what we do. We don't know what we do. Ah, it's in a fikiria. We don't know what we do. We end up. So imagine, and they end up staying perfectly. And that's why we find most of our parents will tell you that if there's a problem with your marriage, they'll tell you, "Vumilia." Don't the reason. Yes. I think now there's there's no longer. There's no love in marriages. Mm -hmm. People are married because of situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you fear. Just call it situations. If you fear breaking up, if, if you break up, maybe your children will be psychologically hurt. Mm -hmm. Your position in the church. Mm -hmm. Your position in the society. Yes. Yes. There's something that is going on in your life that fear. If I walk away from this person, yes. Maybe I'll get some negative. There'll be some negative impact on my persona. Yes. So at the end of the day, you are married. Not that because you love the man, yes. but you're saying that because of what you want to prevent. Mm -hmm. Our time is much spent. I wish we had the whole day here. Let's read uh, a couple of reactions from the public. There's somebody called Tito Marwa, or Marwa. Tell me not read it in Kijelua. Tito Marwa. Tito Marwa says, Here in Noma, and that's why my name was squeezy. They don't like being near their mother-in-law. 
being the mother being near the mother in law and then there's Martin Gendi who says maybe and uh, there is uh, Janet Janet Michaels I know her she's somewhere around this room says apo kwa spouses it's tricky for causes they can help those who choose in line with the interest it comes to uh, when it comes to friends they are at better position to access whether they are of value or not that is whether, who to choose who to parent to choose for for the son or the daughter and then there is somebody called uh, no children should follow their passion and then there is uh, linda linda werunga who says happy to see you my friend of good as heading the show oh thank you welcome linda and then there is parents uh, selena amor says parents are supposed to advise only not choose mm -hmm. and then there is wodnya sembo who says it's not right for them to choose this one is so defiant as defiant as at indigenous <laughs> security then there's somebody called wiz who says at some mm -hmm. point but in terms of spouses no it's mutual thing so you should go uh, you should go where your heart uh, heart beats for and then there is somebody called Maggie Thatcher says start your trust your parents they know what is good for you for you always want the best for you and give you statistics on that then lastly for now there is uh, Tangila Kenya who says how can my parents choose for me a spouse while I am the one who is going to live and I only need advice from them this brings me to another statistics who says which says that um, 90% of arranged marriages especially when it's cultural like places like India when the marriage can't work the spouses opt for suicide than divorce like they better kill themselves than divorce and another one is that uh, when uh, there's a divorce the person who caused that divorce is most likely highly like 90% going to be disowned by that family for breaking this for breaking this uh, uh, arranged marriage thing you hear the i was uh, hearing you groaning about the 15 minutes thing you want the experiments before marriage it is very important to do experiments very important mm -hmm. i know the church is against it but it is now it's not necessary <coughs> it is very necessary I, I i meet you today we move to the house Number one, there are so many factors that will always glue two people together. Uh -huh. Common interests. Yes. You see, like, you, you find yourself, you, 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 you love eating rice. I love uh -huh. eating ugali. Ugali, yes. You, you, you don't like going to church. I love going to church. You mm. see, we, we, you'll, you'll be having issues like on a daily basis. Mm. It is important to be given time. You learn the person you are going to live with. So that is what you mean by ex experiment. And the other one that I don't want to say, that one which you are thinking of, it is also important. What do you think about <laughs> this one, PK? Reject it as your father. No, no. Imagine your father is watching. No, the one that she wants, she wants to say, I won't, I won't touch into that. How do you know it? This <laughs> PK. Common sense says it all. But <laughs> there <laughs> And she has refused to say it. Yes. So it's something. Who else. are you to say it? <laughs> I can't. I can't speak for her. <laughs> but no, in a way, you should know the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Mm -hmm. That's one. But as much as I want to know, I also want to tell you this for free. I've seen married people date for more than five years. <laughs> they get married for two weeks and they divorce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two weeks in marriage, mm -hmm. they're done. Mm -hmm. And they date for many years. And you know, maybe the other day I told a friend, young man, we are going to get for the rest of your lives. I'm going to find, I'm going to find your rules. Marriage is the number one because cause of devotion, uh, of, of, of divorce. Oh, it is I'm, the I'm number one cause of divorce. We did for five years. Uh. I love when I find your rules. Then two years you're done with your marriage. <laughs> two weeks. Yes. Not even one month. Two weeks. For money, moon, one week. Pap, one one end of routine. There was somebody in charge. The reason was, the reason is why I was saying this is, people are very plastic. Mm -hmm. Mostly during, during courtship. Yeah. Uh, they're very plastic. Mm -hmm. They can come to your house, stay with you, and live together. So can we stay for ages? They're still very what? Plastic. Let them confirm mm. I'm here to stay now. Yes. Then you meet the real job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, uh, we are um, finishing this because time is still here on us. We've been here for around 45 
minutes or 15 minutes or so. It's only that this conversation is very sweet that we can't mm -hmm. finish. But uh, teacher Charity, can you tell us your final comments on this camera here? It's your, uh, teach the nation for about 30 seconds, okay, especially the young people. This is what I want to tell any youth out there uh, watching this show. Let us be real. And um, let us always believe in ourselves. There's nothing. You should not push away anybody advising you. Just listen to the advice. But you remain the sole decision maker in your life. Thank you. That is what I can say. Thank you. Yeah. Job, as you say, you prepare for your last comments. There's somebody in our church who married on a, on a, on a Sunday. Mm. Then when it came on a Sabbath, that is six days later, mm. he came in front of the congregation and said, marriage is <laughs> challenge, just pray for me. He thought, he, he, he thought marriage is, 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 is a marriage chance play. <laughs> yeah, so say your, say, say your last comments, John. <laughs> well, teach the person a son of pastor. Okay. On, a, on another serious note, as a young person, I want to borrow from whatever India said. Listen to pieces of advice. Make the decisions on your own. And I think the more the advice that you receive, the better. Mm. Because in a way, you'll be having an expanded thinking space where you can make the best decision out of the bigger positive of things that you're receiving. That is one. Two, sometimes it's also good to listen to your parents. Don't just be a rebel for no good mm. reason mm. because they want to satisfy you being a youth. I can call this in adulthood, there's something called adolescenting in quotes, in adulthood, where you behave like a 14 year old and you should over 30. So don't rebel so much, listen to your parents, get people who can advise you, look for advisors. I can in a also way get someone who's more mature than you, not a, not a relative, not a friend, not a family member, whom you can share with staff who can advise you and then keep good friends. To the parents, this is from me, to the parents, uh, those children you have also have brains. Please involve them in decision making. But to the children, this is majorly to you. Statistics say that 85% 85, 85 of, of parents want the good for their children. They want their children to live better than they live now. So listen to them, don't dispute them. It has been a very good dis uh, discussion with two phenomenal people, a son of a teacher, a teacher son of a teacher, a communicator son of a pastor. <laughs> it's been very good, very good. Uh, you can, there's something you should borrow from this. Please borrow from it and let it help you in your life in making decisions concerning spouses, friends, and career. This has been Why in the Morning, and I think this is now the last segment for today. Till we meet tomorrow and on Wednesday, salute. <laughs>